Hi Taurus, we are doing a how your person is feeling. You know, we're going to get some of their thoughts. Yeah, some of their thoughts and feelings about us, about our connection, about themselves. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Sometimes your moon, rising, Venus will resonate. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up your energy in that one. Let's find out who's coming forward for my Taurus. What they've got on their mind, on their heart. What are they thinking about us and our connection? What's going on? How are they feeling? Let's see what we're going to get here. Let's pick up their energy. Let's see what's going on for my Taurus. Ooh, that one right there popped. Ooh. <laughs> They worried about their looks. Yes, they are. They're worried about their appearance, how they're coming across to us. Is there anything else in that energy card? Anything else? Ooh, right there. Ow! <laughs> That's new life. New vitality, new life. That's Archangel looking at uh, a baby being created in awe of, ooh. So we got somebody that really wants to impress us and come across with a good impression for us. Mm -hmm. They're trying, working overtime. They're being very self-conscious, though. Yeah, very self-conscious. Mm -hmm. Ew. Let's pull the Romance Angel Oracle. Pick up a little more of the energy for my Taurus's person. A more of the energy. Explain it a little bit more to us. See what we got coming through. It's for my Taurus's person. My Taurus's person right there. Oh, give your give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Mm, what else? Oh, forgiving and learn forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Ooh, so now I know whether uh, it's a little bit self-conscious trying to uh, put on their A-game for us. Look their best, behave their best. Um, but they, they are worried about because uh, we're doing a redo, uh, uh, possibly giving a relationship another chance, uh, going through that forgiving and learning. Oh, okay. Ooh, and they want, they really are becoming self conscious of what they are doing, what they are saying, how am I looking? Because they really, they really want to bring this, you know, birth this connection. You know, lifetime. Lifetime is important to them. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's pick up. These are in the shadow oracle cards. These are message cards. Let's see what's going to come out of the shadow from your person. Ooh, and y'all know the deck's going to fight me. It's okay. It is prone to do that, y'all. For my Taurus's person, anything they want to share with us. Like I said, this is the shadow end. Fears, doubts, insecurities, things like that. Regrets. Suspicions. <laughs> See what's coming out. What are they going to say to us? What are they going to say to us? This is for my Taurus's person. Mm. Uh-oh, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. We've got some trust issues going on. And a lot of times, when that card comes out, uh, it mirrors. We'd be like, I don't trust you either. <laughs> Let's get real. Oh, we're going to take two here because I'm filling it on those two. Let's see what it's... I scared myself that day. That day. Ooh. There's a day they scared themselves. I don't need your approval. I don't need your approval. Ooh, we're going to keep that over here because that's going to be on that forgiving and learning and giving your relationship another chance. We're going to pull the Hidden Truth Oracles. We're going to get uh, a response to these from your person. 
Like I said, we were diving into shadows on that one. And this one is hidden truth. Well, let's find out. I don't trust you. What are they going to say to that? I don't trust you. That one. I feel you even though we are apart. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I feel you even though we are apart. And I know we got some trust issues going on. I scared myself that day. I will wait for a sign from you. Ooh, so they did do something that, that yeah, that forgiving and learning. I don't need your approval. Don't need your approval. What am I gonna say to that one? I don't need your approval. I don't need your approval. Where's that guys? There it is. You speak to me through music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they might have, you know, we might have had, um, I scared myself that day when, when I come across so cold, so mean, so cruel, cutting, yeah. Something in the past where they were like, you know, really, how do I put it? De defensive, angry, and like, mm -mm. yeah. Yeah, they're carrying that with them. Uh, we've got the Unseen connection. Yeah. You speak to me through music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, but there, there there has been some turbulence. Big time turbulence in the connection, my Taurus. Let's go ahead and pull the cosmic tarot. Let's find out a little bit about the details of the circumstances. What brought your person to this? Why they are carrying this in their psyche with them. A little bit more. Mm. Oh, that one don't want to go in. We're taking. We got a King of Cups, the Scorpio energy, King of Cups energy, intuitive connection, Ace of Swords, communications opening up. Mm -hmm. Past the card of the past, mm -hmm. nostalgia cards, Six of Cups. What else? What else? Hmm. High Priestess. Wow. Secretive. Queen of Wands. Aries Energy. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we got here, guys. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. For my Taurus, this seems to be rep uh, the energy uh, of what's brought this person to this of the forgiving and learning uh, they're representing your connection as a Scorpio Aries energy uh, going on together uh, that's just to let me know uh, how the energy between you the interaction that was going on circumstances which this is a clash of wills mm -hmm. when we get an Aries and a King of Cups you know Scorpio energy that is they both are try to how to take the lead of everything. You're very independent, strong willed. It's a clash of will. Mmm. It's hard for one to give give in to the other. Uh so yeah. But we got this unseen connection with each other, even though we you know, we're button heads a little bit. Uh friction energy going on. Ooh, and we we might have a lot of how do I put it? The fact that we got this in the they're saying in the past uh, it was more about uh, who who could win, who could win. I don't know how to put that. The victory. Uh, so communication was really you know not us listening to each other. It was us talking at each other. So yeah. But like I said, this person is really feeling unseen connection with us. Uh, there, this is also insinuating uh, suspicions on on the uh, 
whoever is identifying as the Divine Masculine King of Cups energy, that Scorpio energy, uh, suspicions, hidden suspicions mm -hmm, about what this, you know, this person's intentions. And, you know, it's really hard to actually get past the Ace of Pentacles. That's where, you you know, you've got good ground to sow your seeds for what you're wanting to manifest. It's a good start. But it put us, like, stuck in that because we were clashing against each other about more than likely everything. <laughs> everything going on in the relationship, you know. Like I said, it's a strong clash of wills. So that's what's brought us to this. Mm, let's see their true desires for my Taurus. True desires. And I got I got a feeling because as Scorpio Taurus energy is is it's very much almost alike. That may be a representation of ours of we may have had, you know. <sighs> suspicions, doubts about this person's and their and their intentions, what they were that kind of thing. Just the trust. Trust was the big issue. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And like I said, that mirrors that probably mirrors of the going well, I don't trust you either. Hmm. Clash of wills. <laughs> what are we gonna do about that? Oh, we've come to the common ground. We don't trust each other. Let's find the true desires on this person's part. True desires. True desires. My Taurus's person. Oh, temperance. I like that. Sagittarius energy. Being more patient and understanding with each other. Oh, steady, loyal, faithful. Taurus has showed up in the reading as the Hierophant. Yeah. Persistent, sticking together, pulling together instead of pulling apart, working, growing together. That's their true desires. Ooh, they really want to work on the connection. Two of cups, yeah. Two of cups. That's about finding the common ground between you, finding the compromises and sacrifices, equal exchange of energy going on in that where we're not... Uh, uh, how do I put it? Worried about winning. Always winning, getting our way, or do it my way, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Being the victor. This person wants to put down swords and actually find common ground between us. And uh, so much like saying, uh, so that you'll know you're loved. <laughs> Loved in that I do respect your feelings and honor your feelings, honor each other's feelings. So yeah, they want to put down the battle, the, the battle of wills going on between you. Let's see their uh, mind, any intentions, taking actions. Next, probable actions. What's in their mind? What have they got going on in their mind? What's the plan of action? Plan of action. Ooh, got seven of cups. Seven of cups. Ooh, that's about making decisions. Mm hmm Sometimes we can feel overwhelmed, but there's a lot of opportunities. And we've got death, Scorpio energy. Death, Scorpio transformation. It's a must that we get in sync with each other and make decisions together. Instead of separately, without can, taking consideration of each other, put down the swords. Because <laughs> uh -huh, there's a lot of stress, uh, needless stress, anxiety, worry, things like that. But it's also bringing us back to, there's trust issue. It's time to start building the trust. Doing things together, in sync with each other, honoring each other's feelings uh, and opinions without, you know... Feeling like we were, how about put, we, we, it's like both of us, the two of cups, need to know that we're being honored and cherished and respected. I lay the plan to work together, mm -hmm. to build together, to get past stuck mode, <laughs> to actually build and manifest them together. So, yeah, that's their plan of action, is to give in, to do whatever it takes to get a transformation going here, find that common ground, 
uh, compromises and sacrifices, honoring each other, loving each other, and letting go of some of the needless stress and worry. But move it forward. Start building. Start building solid ground. Uh, staying persistent. And we got, what, the hair font? They're like, nope. I'm totally committed and I'm going anywhere. That's our, <laughs> my Taurus energy. Y'all showed up. But your person is also showing up in that Taurus with that strong Taurus energy. Of, I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. We can work through this. We can pull it together and pull this battle wagon together instead of pulling ourselves apart. So yeah, let's pull a deck. And let them give us a brief message. Transformation. We've got Scorpio showed up so much. We're going to use the butterflies. And we're using the light end of the deck. I may. I may. No. Let's go with the light end of the deck. I was going to say maybe I should pull the shadows. But no. Let's go with the light end. And we're already getting them popping. Please don't give up on me. I need you. I need you. Mm -hmm. Top ones also won't come out. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I'm beyond crazy about you. No. I feel overwhelmed. At times, I feel overwhelmed. That's the Seven of Cups. We did get a Seven of Cups. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed. Ooh, that one. I'll say this one. Let's see which one went flying. All I want is you just as you are. They don't want you to change. <laughs> You're my obsession. You're my obsession. And this one. I've waited forever for you. Mm -hmm. Waited forever for you. You would never believe me if I told you how I feel. Yeah, there's our trust issue. I don't trust you. I don't believe what you say. <laughs> and that mirrors. That just not that mirrors. We both got that in common with each other. We found that common ground. Now let's go from there. I don't want to see you with anyone else. Because mm -hmm. you're mine. You're mine. This one. This one and this one, guys. I don't know how to prove my love and loyalty to you. But they do want to try to, when this one comes out, just know. Their desire to prove it to you is there big time. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. Yes. Mm -hmm. My feelings for you are real. They are real. Not going nowhere. Yeah. Let's go ahead and close out the reading, my Taurus. Let's get a Lover's Oracle. This is for my Taurus and their person. Battle of the Wheels going on, guys. Yeah. Now let's do the Battle of the Love. Ooh, I like that one. And I like that one. Anything else? Anything? Ooh. That one. Let's see what we got. If I can get my fingers on them, y'all. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This is... Uh, I love this because this is a statement of... We've got two strong-willed people here. We don't have somebody that just needs to be with us. They want to be with us. They can walk away at any time, but they're choosing not to. They're choosing the Taurus, Hierophant energy of sticking, persistent, stubborn, not giving up. Mm -mm. Embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. Yes, embrace each other. And this one, that's pretty. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I love you. Okay, my Taurus. That's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.